First I have to say, mea maxima culpa. I do genuinely have to say that, and I say it in the book. Because I really believed that if these ideas were to get great traction, it would be far more powerful and effective if a black person and black leaders were propagating it. Now there's a contradiction right there which I am alive to. But I really felt that if we could get black leadership that genuinely believed in the values that I've just espoused and who could stand up for them fearlessly against all odds, we could take a shortcut through history. What I didn't understand was how hard that would be. It was damn hard for Tony and his predecessors, and it was hard for me, because you have to take a lot of abuse and you have to have a backbone of steel, but it's much, much harder for a black leader. Because the intensity and the pressure that comes to conform and the accusations of being a sellout and the temptation of defaulting to race when anything goes wrong and the extent to which people in your own party do that and demand your loyalty too is unbelievably difficult. Unbelievably difficult. And if you've got a shallow understanding of the values, even though you are able to present as if you've got a very profound understanding of those values, if you've only got a shallow understanding of those values, the minute that pressure comes, you're going to cave. And that's what happened. That is what happened. And I don't think that we understand how powerful that default is. And politics brings the most extreme form of pressure. And if you can't instinctively default to the principle, you will instinctively default to the group that keeps you safe. And that is, in our context, a racial and cultural group. And then you will get those principles applied in the most shallow form. So I tried to take a shortcut, and it didn't work. And I thought it was working at the beginning. We broke out of the Western Cape, which is what we wanted to do. And then we put together governments and made our first fatal mistake, which I fought to the very last till I was thrown off the federal executive to do those governance agreements with the EFF, which I was fundamentally opposed to. And it all went wrong from there. So what I've learned most profoundly is you have to have the seared into your spine and your soul, these values. So that however much the pressure is against you, you will stand up for them. And you won't default to a comfort zone. But in South Africa, that's damn hard. So it's going to take a lot longer than I'd hoped. And it's going to not be a guaranteed success. And the only thing that I can hope for when I leave this last term that I've got as chair of the federal council that there will be enough of a critical mass that has what it takes to do what has to be done.